Hey all, Eric Jensen here. Now we're in the Tempranillo block, which is on a cordon. So the whole vineyard used to be like this, and most of the vineyard you're used to seeing around the state of California are like this. You got the trunk that comes up right here, and then it forms a V, and either goes one way or both ways, unilateral or bilateral, okay? So this is bi, we go both ways on this. Uh, that's pretty funny, we go both ways, you know? Uh, I, I don't, but uh, I don't know, maybe they do, I, I'm not sure. But So what we want is we want three of these spurs. These are spurs. So this is the cordon. This piece of wood is the cordon. When we saw the cane, remember, we laid a new one down every year, and then we cut it off. So we have fresh wood. So, Lauren, if you can show them, you can see, man, look at all this gorgeousness. It, it's just old. doesn't make it better, though. You make all these cuts, and it it slowly starts to make this thing die a little bit. You get what's called butt canker diseases in cordons. So we're converting where needed. This block's probably almost half uh, cane now. So on a cordon, we set permanent spur positions. So here you got one, two, and three. One, two, and three. Three on this side as well, right? And out of those, we want two shoots growing. So if you come over here, I'm gonna pick my best two shoots. First, I wanna make sure they got these little buggers, all right? That's fruit. This guy looks beautiful, but I don't see any fruit. Uh, so I don't like that. Wow, I don't see any fruit with this guy either. I'm gonna get rid of this one. So right now, we may only have fruit. Uh, sometimes the, uh, the fruit just hasn't pushed yet, it's up in here. So I'm gonna leave three to see which one pushes, okay? Come over here, I'm looking. I don't see anything there, nothing there. Got one here, and wow. So far, it's looking pretty spooky. So I'm gonna pull that one off. I'm gonna leave that one, because I like it. Uh, because I gotta leave a bunch of these now. Get that off. So I'm gonna leave these three, because I wanna see which, which one of these two is gonna have fruit on it. And I will work with the crew later to tell them to leave three until we see fruit. Again, come over here. Uh, I wanna look at this. Um, yes, I have fruit uh, off that one. Get rid of this thing. Uh, and then I'm gonna keep one of these two. Can't tell which one's gonna be better yet, uh, but I'm gonna keep this one going that way because I like the shade it provides. So I'm getting rid of that. I'm gonna go down here and I'm gonna keep these. I'm gonna keep that one and this one. And I'll tell you why. If these don't set this year, I'm gonna cut this cordon right here. Pow. This is gonna be my new cane. So this year, I'm gonna tie, more than likely, because I don't like what I'm seeing, plus I don't like this double spacing, more than likely this is gonna get cut and the new plant will come from right here and right here. Okay. Go over here, I'm gonna do the same thing. All I'm looking for is two on each one of these spurs. So it's basically gonna be two, four, six, eight, 10, 12. Then we will make the decision based on cluster size and weight, do we keep 12 clusters or 15? Some of the shoots will be big enough, we'll keep two on them. If a shoot's only 30 inches, we'll keep one. If it's bigger than 30 and there's enough leaves, we'll keep two. It, then it becomes an equation of how many leaves do we need to ripen that cluster of fruit. We have our own mass equation. It's based on leaves. Uh, basically, I'd call it square inches of leaves to ounces of fruit, what we know we can ripen. And so that's how we'll make the decision down the road. I'll show you that when that time comes. Um, it's getting hot and sweaty out here, so my glasses are sliding off. But uh, that's it for today. We've seen cordon trained. We've seen cane trained and then we've seen a vertical cordon. So cane prune, spur prune, and a vertical cordon. That's it for today, we'll see you soon.